good mystery story has three things. First off, it has the case that needs to be solved. Second, it has the police out of the picture. In a world where the police actually do their jobs, there are no private detectives. Which brings us to the third thing, which is the detective. The guy who can solve the problem and do what the police can't and stand up for truth and justice. Why do I care? I have two of the requirements. See, but we don't have a detective. We have me. So, this is going to get messy. Mr. Trevelli and his son, Sean, my best friend, were- That's me. I'm Sean. Get out of my vlog. I'm trying to explain the basic facts of the case. He and his dad were going bowling. His, their mom gets home from- They get home one hour later and find her head bashed in and toaster oven next to her on the floor covered in blood. His dad and the police had just gone outside to discuss their moronic theory that the electrical wiring had caused the toaster to fly out at Mrs. Trevelli and kill her. That wasn't what their theory was. Do you want to tell this story? Because you can get a camera and a YouTube channel and make your own vlog about this story. Okay, I will. So we're on the scene of the crime. Why do you always carry that slinky around? Why does your mom carry this slinky around? Because she's dead. Excellent observation, good man. Hey look, it's your neighbor. That guy's not even my neighbor. He just lives next door. Vince Mahogany. Jim, nice to meet you. Have you ever considered the possibility that our entire lives are just one four minute internet video on an online film festival? No, but I've measured the trajectory of the toaster, and the polarity of the neutron flow, as well as the angle of Mrs. Trevelli's head, and I have deduced that the toaster could not possibly have fallen off the counter, but was in fact thrown from approximately here. There's just one thing that I don't get. There wasn't another living thing in the house with her. I mean, there's only three characters in this whole movie. There, there's me, Sean, and... Something stupid about the force. Sean! Sean! So you can come in my videos, but I can't come in yours? Where's, Where's your neighbor? neighbor? Right here. Vince Mahogany, I have reason to believe that you were involved in the murder of Mrs. Grace Trevelli. I wrote the script for this movie. What? Not only did I cause this entire sequence of events by killing the idiot's mother, I thought you weren't a detective. What business do you have accusing me of such a dude? Maybe I'm not a detective. Maybe I don't have what it takes to follow clues and bust criminals and all that stuff. But I know you committed that crime. And by the grace of God, I will stop you from committing another one. Well, you're doing it wrong! Your mom is doing it wrong. No, this isn't how it ends. I know how it ends. I get away. I tr I'm trapped in an endless cycle of murder by my own inability to resolve characters. This isn't the end. Not by a long shot. After the police showed up, there was an epic car chase, and there were many explosions, which sadly weren't caught on camera. In the end, Vince Mahogany got away, just like he said he would. As for Sean, he finally found love and lived happily ever after. And me, I became a detective, and one of these days off of Vince Mahogany. So, case closed. For now.